Oh my God. Woo! Yes! Yes! Welcome to Rota Riot. Today we are going to do a really awesome challenge where instead of doing three blades per prop, we're going to cut off two of them and try to see if we can make them fly with one per motor. And we're going to test them for flight time, for freestyle ability, and of course durability. And it's going to be me and Stellar Fox, you know we're Team La Fox, versus Cricket, Cricket and Zoe. <laughs> team, team number one. We are going to be using the HD1 spec belts from Rota Riot with the Rota Riot frame the air unit, the hot wing stack, and of course, those hype train motors. Where we should take like four hours, see what we can come up with. Four hours. Four hours for Two what? hours, okay. We'll, we'll be done in 30 minutes. You know, we're now we're gonna pen. be over time, Cricket. You just sealed no. our fate. We're gonna do this quick. Uh, I think we should all try to make like two sets, right? Because I mean, if you break a prop, break a prop right away, you don't have backup props. Yeah, so yeah no, probably two or three sets. We are heading to my own studio. I know where all my tools and stuff are. Let's see, which one do we want to use? This one, this one, this one. <laughs> How many of these do you have? The whole point of us going to Drew's house was because he knew where all the tools were and he knew where everything that he needed was and it was gonna be easy to find everything that we could possibly need to do this project. And as you can see, um, it's a little messy, but I know where everything is. <laughs> you can't even say that you're still moving, though. That's the thing is, like, you've been moved in for how long, and you still have boxes sitting around. Like, Whoa. how old are you, Drew? <laughs> What do you think the other team is doing? Uh, they're going to mess with all the PIDs and all that jazz. That's how they're going to make it work. You don't think you can make the PIDs enough to make this work? Yeah, I think we'll make the PIDs good enough to work. Coming from the guy that don't know how to tune, I'm like, we can just tune it. Not really, no. Okay, I think we really need to balance stuff out. Yeah, they got to be balanced, guys. I wish I had a real prop balancer. I used to, back in the day, when I was doing like other sorts of RC things, it was way more common to do prop balancing. So the biggest thing with a single blade on a prop is that essentially as you're spinning one blade around, you have nothing on the other side to counterbalance it. It's creating an upwards momentum and force. Unstable environment where it's gonna wanna shake back and forth because the prop is going from one side to the other back and forth. So to fix that, you have to add a counterbalance to the other side, either another propeller or some sort of counterweight. They have these tools that's a prop balancer, and it's like, so then what you need to be able to do is put the prop in any position and it shouldn't spin. So like if you let go of the prop and it falls and something like ends up at the bottom, that's where the, that's where the heavy part is. Then you add a little weight to the top. So I don't have my prop balancer. That would've been a great thing to have, but I think this will work. The further out you place your mass, the more of an effect it has. So maybe a heavy screw close to the hub would help. Would, would work out well. We should get some protective eyewear. We should hide behind this wall. Look, you have these little cubicles just for hiding behind. Oh, boy. That's exactly what I was worried about happening. It's gonna be harder than we thought. Here's what know? happened. Okay, this was supposed to be teamwork. Me and Joe were gonna be like, all right, we're gonna figure something out. We're gonna put it together. We're gonna make it work. Jeff came over, gave us a little idea. It seemed like a bear. I was like, oh, that's good. That's good. Like, screw something in there so you have something to work yeah, around. around Joe was like, ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get on the computer. I'm gonna bap, 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 and I'm gonna print some stuff. So I only had enough time to get one set of these props done, thinking that because you were gonna make the second set, right? She was gonna make her set of the the 3D prints, but the 3D prints took too long. We had just a little bit more time for a couple more test prints. We'll we'll be done in 30 minutes. This is the solution. I actually designed something, and here we are, hot gluing for the win. We have one of those. That thing flies good. Our best option was probably drive in a screw and secure that screw with an epoxy. It's 
three thirty one. We're officially late. late. We are three minutes late. Oh. What took you guys so long? You're late. Science. We were sciencing. You're sciencing? So I'm looking at our science. No. We're trying to spy on our science. Actually, our science and your science are very similar. When we get there and I get a look at the dynamic that's going on, they're not working together. It seems team. to me they were doing completely different things. Did you guys use a 3D printer? No. Oh, it's free! Oh, no, 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 no. We're finally getting ready to do the first test, which is the flight time test. So this is the hover portion of it, okay? Okay. So now, if at any point in time that quad touches the ground, that's automatic L, right? I think that's fair. And who has eye protection? Anybody? And I'll be in my there's office because I don't want to get hit by anything. <laughs> yeah, there's safety like, glass right here. It might come to bite me in the butt because it's untested, but I have with me a lithium ion battery. For high amperage, this might not be the best way to go, but for hovering, for long duration, I think this is gonna get us the win. Quads are looking like they're good to go, but I'm kind of eyeing their quad. This prop doesn't even have a, like I even, I sat there and pointed it out. One of their props didn't have a counterbalance. Three of them had a screw with hot glue on the back, and one of them didn't. They just had the props cut off. I'm instantly thinking, this isn't gonna make it. All right, you ready? Uh -oh. There are two dead machines. Oh God. This is really intense. This is gonna be the longest five minutes of my life right now. Let's touch these. Oh Dude, mine are fine. Okay, so that's one point for us. One point. I mean, two points really, because not only did we win the hover test, we also won the durability test, like kind of right off the bat. Our prop room. Uh, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Put it together. Let's take it out for freestyle. But I think we know what's going down now. Cricket, what do you have to say for yourself? You're cool oh, yeah. with forgetting a prop that was drawing and completely forgetting existence. Here's all I'll say. If it wasn't for me, the quad wouldn't have flew. He has a point. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, finally we admit it! We've rocked out the hover test. Now we're gonna power loop that thing and run the opposing team into oblivion. So who's taking the first run? Man, Me. But he's yeah. got this. I have confidence Cricket's gonna pull the win. It. It's not about confidence in a win. It's confident if this machine is gonna last past that row of trees right there. It will if you believe. Oh man, this is... Oh my goodness. Oh, he's going straight for the backwards. Straight juicy for the backwards. And juicy Holy. <laughs> <laughs> right away! Right away! <laughs> what right is away! You? Sticks it in the tree. Hey, it's still fine though. So I would call that That's exactly good. what I would expect from you. That's good! No, so I will agree that that rickety ass quad was more impressive than your flying. There you go. My man. I'll take that. <laughs> Judge Jeffrey. He wasn't able to make it out to the field, so we had to pull one of the very talented camera people out in front of the lens to serve as a judge. <laughs> What's the score? One through ten. What's it gonna be? Uh, What's a good score? We'll give it, we'll give it a solid six. Okay, <laughs> I'll take a six. That's strong six. As it turns out, she's horrible at judging. She doesn't know what she's looking at. I'm actually surprised that thing flew, honestly. I'm like, I'm okay with the with the with the outcome right now. What's your moment, Jamie? Uh, my moment. Hey, if I do more than 30 seconds, I feel like I should get better than a six. What you working with? Oh my God! Woo! Yes! Yes! Come back! But they were talking all kind of crap, guys. So this right there, that Ooh. thing was water. Hey, um, I saw water splash up. Am I in a tree? No. no. <laughs> uh, I gave it throttle, and as soon as I gave it throttle, we lost screws in all of our props, actually. So when you go up, go easy and don't try to give it any blips because that's exactly what happened. Look, the screws just popped all right out. All of them. All, of them. all four of them. Uh -oh. Back in the game. Back in the game. All four of them. All right, so Jamie needs to score, unfortunately. You're gonna have to go with a solid two. Two. That's two. Gracious. I can't even believe you that's got a gracious. two. If it gets up, get like you automatically get points for this, don't you think? That's true. Joey, we're super careful, never over like 
even under a half throttle. Don't go anything over a half throttle, seriously. But I really want to fly 3D. Whoa, whoa, definitely don't go 3D. Yeah, definitely go 3D. 3D. Just keep it together, then we can do 3D. Those, with it. those motors just starting and stopping, the props are going to love it. Yeah. It's <laughs> actually. You know what? Go big, go home. That's the way I do it. We'll, we'll take this away with the one. Yeah, dude, right there. That's the perfect throttle. Yeah, we'll fight that. We'll fight that. Oh, she's cut yeah, you know. Well, little throttle, little throttle. Too much, too much, too much. Too, too much. Yeah, there you go, baby. Right. Yeah, yeah, Joey. Too much, too much, too much. Don't go over. Oh, 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 oh. just oh. Oh. I heard I, 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 you broke it. In it. I broke it. In. We got this one. So it I think came what happened here. on this one, like, okay, I don't think this happened directly oh, in the crash. But as I was flying, the quad dipped a little bit. I think that's when we lost the counterbalance for that. Okay, I was up for a yeah, decent amount of time. I did do 3D for a couple so seconds. So if I got a six, and I was only up for 15 seconds. Which is ridiculous. She was up for like 45 seconds, did a couple spins and tricks. I did a 3D maneuver. These things. And it was in 3D, right? Yeah. Gotta go with the Ted. On the durability test, we still have three of our props intact, so they what? still are down two props. I, I thought Jeff not being able to come was just a mild inconvenience. It actually <laughs> was a travesty. It's okay, Drew. Yeah, this is a problem with judging freestyle competitions. Well, a lot of judges rules. just get hung up on, on gimmicks and cheap yeah. tricks. And oh! I'm gonna, gonna go straight thing, for right? a power loop. Yeah. If I crash right after all that, seriously, it took so much. If I crash right, I'm gonna be so. So, do you think we already won them? Is that, what you're saying? that is not at all what I'm saying. Dude, what? Oh my! F what the? F that hit my butt. Are you okay? That was a flying screw, dude. You can see the hit. It hit right here. Oh man, look! You can see the ridges of the screws. Okay. You guys get the freestyle competition. I have a theory. I have a theory that the epoxy was actually slowly melting the rest of the propeller, and it caused it to have a barrier that caused it to separate. Because like you've lost six props, and traditionally epoxy should be more than enough to hold it together. I would say that the air quad is unfit to even be flown. Disqualified. Oh, Disqualified. Disqualified. I don't know how it worked so well on the hover and then we just fell apart on the freestyle. I, I don't know how good. ours fell apart in the hover and did decent for freestyle. Uh, that just means hot glue was superior. Uh, seriously, the most yeah, low-tech solution has won the day. So you gonna give me an apology? Because you were talking all kind of smack. Uh, no, my solution, uh, my yeah. solution was finished. She my didn't solution make a prop. finished. She didn't even make a prop. Where's your prop? I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to talk about something that ended completely unexpectedly, <laughs> like I thought we were over with. We had it, we should have had it. This was a really great fun challenge. I don't recommend people trying this at home because it definitely was super dangerous, as you saw. There Unexpectedly <laughs> so. I was like, what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Thank you guys for watching. Why don't you leave a comment as to who is really the best team in terms of, you know, <laughs> sticking together through thick and thin no matter what. Lip and also, if you have any ideas on how you would have done this challenge better, any sort of science thoughts bouncing around your brain holes, drop that in the comments also, because I'd really like to know what other, what other things could we have tried. It's funny that even though we worked apart, we both ended up doing <laughs> pretty much the same idea. And huge thanks to DJI for providing us with these amazing quads so that we could do this really awesome challenge and see if we could get them in the air with only one prop. And get yours in the Rotorite store today.